Mr. Heppenstall's view is that while I did breach the governance code for public appointments, he states very clearly that a breach does not necessarily invalidate an appointment. Indeed, I've always maintained the breach was inadvertent and not material, which the facts he lays out substantiate. The Secretary of State has consulted with the BBC board who support that view. Nevertheless, I have decided that it is right to prioritise the interest of the BBC. I feel that this matter may well be a distraction from the corporation's good work were I to remain in post until the end of my term. I have therefore, this morning, resigned as a BBC chair to the Secretary of State and to the board. It was proposed to me that I stay on as chair until the end of June, while the process to appoint my successor is undertaken, and I will of course do that in the interests of the corporation's stability and continuity. I've always maintained the breach was inadvertent and not material, which the facts he lays out substantiate. The Secretary of State has consulted with the BBC board who support that view. Nevertheless, I have decided that it is right to prioritise the interest of the BBC. I feel that this matter may well be a distraction from the corporation's good work were I to remain in post until the end of my term. I have therefore, this morning, resigned as a BBC chair to the Secretary of State and to the board. It was proposed to me that I stay on as chair until the end of June, while the process to appoint my successor is undertaken, and I will of course do that in the interests of the corporation's stability and continuity.